guys welcome back to queen varieties channel in today's episode you will learn how to make a very rich and delicious lumpy egusi soup recipe yes guys and this video was prepared for my husband especially because it was his birthday on 2nd february 2020 don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload new videos feel free to share this video with your friends loved ones or anybody you want to share it with thank you okay guys let me introduce you to the very first thing that we are going to do for this recipe here i have various vegetables that are placed in my plate here so what i'm going to do right now is to blend all these um, ingredients here i have some ginger garlic and scotch bonnet peppers of um, yellow green and then um, red i am using these three colors of peppers because um, it brings a very unique taste and flavor to this particular soup recipe here i have one white onions and here i have my green long um, chili and finally i have the red long bell peppers and i'm using about um, four of them as you can see i have washed and deseeded each of the peppers that you're seeing here right now so take your time to clean it very well remove the seeds so that it will not be bitter in your soup so what we're going to do right now is to transfer to the blender and blend it all up i'm going to use the food processor to blend all these ingredients because um, i don't want to add any water inside the, the blender My food processor is a very large one, so it can contain everything at the same time. So I will cover it up right now and then blend it. So guys, the blending process is done. I'm going to go ahead and detach it and this is what we have here. So this is the outcome of them, the blended ingredients. Yes guys, so we are going over to the next step. For my proteins, what I have is some combination of goat meat, some shake and some beef. This shake is very soft in nature, so I'm going to cook everything at the same time because of um, its um, soft nature. Right now, I'll add the goat meat inside the pot. After adding the goat meat, I'll add the shake. Then I'll introduce the beef. Having placed all the meats inside the pot right now, I'll open one stock cube, that is my null cube, and then break it at the surface of the meats. Once that step is completed, we are going to add the blended ingredients we made earlier on. And I'm going to include all of them right inside the pot right now because uh, the soup we are preparing, we are using the non-frying method to do it. So it means we are not going to fry it. So right now we want to create the base of our soup process. I will include all the ingredients we just blended right now inside this pot. To infuse a very delicious flavor into the meat. Hope you guys can see how beautiful it's looking. I love the colors right now guys. <laughs> the final ingredient I will add right now is some quantity of salt. Please add salt to your own taste. And considering the quantity of uh, meat that you're adding in your pot so just add a reasonable quantity of salt so that your meat will be tasty so go ahead and stir everything to combine effectively now cover your pot and allow it to cook down for like um, 10 good minutes while the pot is seriously boiling on the heat what we are going to do right now is to blend this egusi i'm using the egusi seed Sorry guys, the steam is too much in the kitchen. The direction of the steam is facing my camera, so I apologize for that. I've tried to open up the pot as you can see. <laughs> I think it's much better now. So the quantity of egusi I'm using right here is um, three and a half um, cup of egusi, the standard cup measurement, the one we use for baking. Let me just show you guys. So this is the cup measurement of egusi I'm using in case you're interested. That is one cup, 250 ml. take you over to the pot and show you what is happening right here in the pot as you can see the pot is burning seriously the pot has developed very very well this is the reason why you don't need to add water while you're cooking your meats 
because you washed it of course the water will always um, develop and i have good quantity of water in this pot right now so i think i'm not going to add any water to this Since the water quantity i have here is okay i'm not adding more if you're adding please make sure you have added i will now cover this pot and cook it for extra 10 to 15 minutes i'm cooking with the cast iron like i always tell you so please i will not be cooking so long because i will also be transferring these ingredients to my oven minutes later guys and the meats are ready to be transferred into the oven here i have placed them on top of my foil inside the baking tray after that period of um, 20 to 25 minutes it's ready to be transferred into the oven to be grilled for like um, 15 to 20 extra minutes until they come out um, very browned in appearance or according to how you would prefer to have it you can also go ahead and fry it if you prefer guys look at how beautiful these meats are looking and here smells incredibly amazing welcome back guys at this stage you notice that the grilling process is done i just want to update you so that you know what is going on behind the camera so this is the appearance of the beef and the goat meat so this is what we are having at this point in time so you just have to grill until you get your own perfect appearance i'm comfortable with what i have here right now because we are going to toss this back to the soup i've tasted the meat off camera and it tastes super super amazing very spicy and super tasty that is exactly what i am going for today is my husband's birthday so i'm taking time to make a very delicious um, soup for him you know a very nice one so in my blender here i've added extra one cup of egusi with um, some onions two onions and then um, some little quantity of water initially i was thinking of making a very small quantity of soup but um i've just considered my weekly plants so i just want to increase the quantity that's why i'm doing this so it's just optional and the onions is below there we are going to blend it together and add it to this um, egusi here what we have in the pot here is the stock that came out from the meat um, cooking process what i have here is some cooked um, cod stockfish this is the cod species, the very stubborn species, like I always tell you. So I've taken my time to cook it off camera for like um, 15 minutes to maybe one hour because <laughs> this thing here is very stubborn, even though I soaked it overnight before cooking it. So if you have a pressure cooker, that would be the best option for you to reduce your cooking time. But here it is. I'm going to pour it inside the pot right now together with the stock. The stock fish is going to bring in a very beautiful flavor and taste to your egusi soup. So this is the blender we used to blend earlier on. I just added my water here because I want to rinse it off. I added about uh, 1000 milliliters of uh, water to this uh, blender. So I'll pour it inside the pot right now. Here guys, we have the base of our soup. We have not yet introduced um, any palm oil in the soup and you can notice how the color and appearance of the soup is looking right now. I'll go ahead and introduce some palm oil to this um, soup. The palm oil is quite uh, frozen, so it's coming out in a very weird way and shape. <laughs> I don't want to say something in my mind now. <laughs> so guys, don't worry. When it gets right into the pot there, it's going to melt. <laughs> I'll turn my heat to the very highest and allow this pot to boil extensively. So guys, over to the next step, here I have the egusi that we have blended as the powdered one. I have already explained the reason why I have this one here. So in case you're not doing this step I have here in the blender, all you need to do to do here is to add the blended onions to this uh, mixture here. So what we are going to do now is to combine the egusi together. So remember what we are making is a um, lumpy egusi. So we are going to make this mixture here to be a very thickened um, paste. A very very thick paste remember i use water to blend them my egusi in the blender so in case you're using the powder the egusi all you need to do is to just um, add a very little quantity of water until you form a very thick in them paste so we are going for something as thick as this for my blender i'll use a little quantity of water and rinse it and add into the pot As you can see, the pot is boiling extensively. I'm going to allow it to continue boiling very well, at least for like um, five minutes before we add ingredients. Five minutes later, guys, we are going over to the next step. As you can see, our pot is still boiling. So what we are going to bring in back now is the grilled um, goat meat and the beef back to the pot. I'm 
just covering the pot for just like maybe one minute for it to boil then I add the egusi. stage this is how the egusi paste is looking like in case you didn't see it very well before so this is what we are having we are going to scoop it right into the pot now so I'll open my pot after one minute of boiling then turn the heat to the very lowest at this stage. Just want your heat to be at the lowest stage right now. So now I'll begin scooping the goose inside the pot just bit by bit, as you can see. Just drop it in there bit by bit. My spoon and push it in a little bit just don't disturb it just be very careful just push them in a little bit what we will do right now is to cover the pot on a very low heat and allow it to cake for like 10 minutes 10 minutes later guys and this is what we have here you notice that the egusi has caked well so what I'm going to do now is to stir it gradually guys just stir it gradually <laughs> so right now this stage after 10 minutes i have turned the heat to the highest we are going to allow this egusi to cook properly for extra 10 good minutes remember we've cooked for 10 minutes plus extra 10 minutes that's um, 20 good minutes for this egusi and that will be perfect to go over to the next step so i'm going to sprinkle some dry fish at the surface of the egusi soup so that everything will cook down together feel free to substitute the dry fish powder with some crayfish powder or you can also go ahead and add two of them at the same time here i have some dry mangala fish and some smoked um, fish i'm going to add them at the same time so that they will cook together if you don't know how to make um, smoked fish you will see a link right now please click it and watch how you can make a perfect oval smoked fish that is if you don't have your own smoked fish Right now, cover the pot and allow it to cook for extra 10 minutes on high heat or you can also regulate it from high heat to medium heat. But keep an eye on it so that the egusi will not burn. I'll be stirring this pot um, off camera so please make sure you keep a watchful eye on it. Ten to fifteen minutes later guys. After a total period of 25 good minutes or 20 to 25 minutes of cooking this egusi, you can see what we have here guys. So now we are going to stir this pot and introduce um, the vegetables. Guys, can you see what we have here? Our lumpy egusi soup is on point. I mean, this soup is really on point. It says for seasoning to see if everything is completely okay. Mmm. Guys, it's so, so tasty. Absolutely incredible. I will just introduce um, half cube to this soup. I will not be adding salt because um, the salt content is okay. Like I said earlier, this is the stage you have to add your vegetables. The vegetable I will be using is um, spinach. So guys, if you have um, ozuza or otazi, you can also include it in this soup. In fact, it's going to take your soup to a higher level. So if you have scent leaf, you can use scent leaf to substitute what I just mentioned. If you don't have them, please um, include it. Here I have little leftover mushroom in my freezer. I've squeezed out the liquid. I'm going to add it in the pot right now. You know mushroom is a vegetable. We don't need to just um, bother about cooking or not cooking. So it will go together with the spinach. So for this soup, I'm using a um, frozen um, spinach. You see here. I'm using a fresh spinach but the frozen one. In fact, it's like I did not show you the outcome of the egusi. I hope you guys can see the egusi very well. You can see it comes out in lumpy crumb like uh, form. Yes, that's how you want to have it. So as you can see guys, you don't need to add too much quantity of water in the soup. 
the soap has to come out in this and um, thicken the um, structure that you're seeing right now but if you want to add more water to it please go ahead and add more water to it like i said today is my husband's birthday and this is one of his favorite soup when you eat the lumpy egusi in this um, structure yes guys so mm, mm. guys so far don't it's very very sweet we are going to use pandedian fufu to enjoy this soup if you have apple or any swallow of your choice please go down with it you will definitely enjoy it so i'll add the remaining frozen spinach i'll just push it inside there and the heat will neutralize it I hope you guys can see how beautiful this soup is looking. I mean, it's so amazing. We're going to cover the pot right now and allow everything to simmer for like um, three minutes and then we'll serve. Guys, if you taste this soup, it's incredibly delicious. I mean, it's super, super yummy. So guys, we have come to the end of today's recipe after three minutes of um, simmering the vegetables inside the pot. So this is the final outcome of what we have here. Guys, look at our soup yes guys so this is your lumpy egusi soup recipe you can see the lumps there so you can see some of the lumps i hope you guys can see them so you can see some of the this is how my husband likes to eat this particular soup so in celebration of my husband's birthday this is what i offer to you guys and this is what my husband is going to have for his um, birthday 2nd february 2020 so feel free to wish my husband them wonderful wishes in the comment section below if you've been watching this video up to this point in time thank you so much for joining me in today's episode i really hope you guys love this video if you do please share it with your friends loved ones or anybody you want to share it with until i come your way next time bye bye